What's up, After Buzzers? We're here with Dolph Ziggler, the, the show stealer himself. Dolph, how you doing? I feel like the show stealer was Shawn Michaels, but we get confused. That's the show lot. stopper. Yeah. The show stopper. See, I'd like to think you're the show I'll stealer. Exactly. Um, you don't even have to think it. It's true. <laughs> What's going on? What's up with you? Who uh, has been the best dressed so far? And don't say like Miz because he wears something from the future for rich idiots. I mean, it's think it's of, like who looks nice and like, whoa, that's cool. It's hard to beat Mojo Raleigh's Zubaz tuxedo. Is it really? I mean. <laughs> It's one thing to be special and stand out. <laughs> it's another to look nice at an event. But I'm digging this ensemble, oh, though. I that, wasn't. That, I wasn't. I know you weren't fishing. I know you weren't fishing, but. But I will take it. I mean, we've got the the salmon jacket, very reminiscent of Mark Henry's legendary retirement Which salmon jacket. I ordered this day one when I found out he was going to own in the Hall of Fame. I go, salmon is what's going to seal the deal for me and uh, Big Mark Henry, sexual chocolate, sexual a, salmon, as we'll refer to him in this evening. Got a lot left in the tank. Yeah. Uh, is that who you're most? Uh, Excited to see inducted in as the much as I love Mark mm. uh, and love almost everyone who's paved the way for us. No joke. I like being a jerk to everybody, but like the reason everyone has done so special here is the reason we have a job and get to do our what we do. Mm. And there's a couple people. Uh, uh, Double J's. I'm a huge fan of one because I just told this to someone else. It's much like Randy. Whether you hate him or love him. When they have that second or third generation in them, they are just so natural in the ring that it's special. And someone like me who analyzes every step, you see that specialness. But also someone who wasn't six foot eight, didn't go 500 and 0 with spears on everybody. And then you go, oh, this guy had to earn his spot. And you love it that much more. It makes it that much more special when you go into the Hall of Fame. So that's, uh, I'm Double J all the way. Me and Broski sing the song in the car. So. Exactly, exactly. Now, we've seen you dip your toe in the, in the comedy world before. Sure. What would you say are some of the, the, the commonalities, the, the common threads that you found in, in comedy it's, and wrestling? It's ridiculous. There's a bunch of smiling on the outside, crying on the inside. You know, if you go like maybe lose 99 out of the last 100 matches that you're in, stuff like that. But also the, the travel, the schedule, you're on your own, traveling on the road five nights a week to where you have all this time to think about what you can do, what you can do better, what's wrong with you, everything to analyze inside. And when you get on that stage, that releases everything for the day. It's much like comedy. You get out there and go, guys, here's what happened. I was stuck at the airport and this is, I can't breathe and I'm on this plane. And it's like, you vent to everyone and that is your therapy to the crowd. And it's pretty cool. Exactly, it's all about therapy. It's all about catharsis. Yes. Well, Dolph, thank you so, so much. Yeah. Can't wait for tonight. We can't wait for Sunday, especially. Thank you very, much. What are you most much. looking forward to on Sunday? Don't lie to me. Uh, if, if, you know what? The obviously the Andre the, the Battle Royal comes to mind for sure, but if if I'm being totally honest, right, if I'm being <laughs> totally completely 100, as they well, say, you're lying until now, which is fantastic. <laughs> what do you got? I'm thinking the three-way tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Titles. God, it's gonna be great, huh? Be Everything that those teams have been a part of, whether it's been two or three of them or whatever, has been show stealing to say the least. Mm. And I am not a tag team guy. Those teams, well, aside from the Bludgeon Brothers, those teams have been crushing it for two years to bring back tag team wrestling that was kind of a huge afterthought until the last couple of months, maybe last year. The bar is fantastic. I love those guys. I'm a big Cesaro fan. You can build an entire company around that guy. But the fact that those, uh, the New Day and the Usos, everyone's been fans of them and think they're nice guys. Those guys are killers in the ring, and I'm so proud of all of them. Absolutely. Well, yeah, Dolph, cool. thank you so, so much, you guys. It. Stick around.